morning students welcome to the annual online classes class 9 and 10 english grammar <coughs> going to syllabus four number chapter that is modern verb and i am going to teach you modern verb and first of all you have to know modern verb is a modern is a verb used with another verb that is an verb to express the mood or attitudes of the speaker just like when i can say i can i can answer these questions the man has to answer but then is more than how i answer then attitude or the mood of the team, speaker that is called model verb and then model verb is also called model adjective verb so okay that is adjective verb just like being verb i am teaching you each is this is auxiliary verb so it is model adjective verb and let's see second one and uh, this model verb is used in different uh, types of ideas as like permission possibility probability ability suggestion advice necessity obligation offer prohibition yeah in this type of sentences or in this type of uh, uh, expression modal verb we use then you should know that different types of modal verb are there these are all modal verbs can do can past tense do also we would may might Sell, should, must, and ought to. These are all the modal verbs. Is clear? Then come four point. There, may, must. These are called semi-modals. Semi means half, not total modal. These are the verbs are used as semi-modal verbs. Is clear? I come point. It has one form. Yeah. Just like a verb changes, I sing, he sings, uh, I sang, I was singing. So here verb is rotated and changed by different forms. But the modal verb has no changes. Hmm? I can, you can, he can, she can, they can. Means there are no changes. But these other forms may change according to the scope of uh, sentences. Is clear? Six number point. How do I remember? I have told you that uh, before man, man has uh, always this actually verb, modal verb is used any sentence. Just I can say, I can answer, I shall do, or I must go to. So here, before modal verb, uh, this is used this modal actually verb. Is clear? Several point of man has used. After the model must be in the root form. Yeah, root form. It may rain today. The rain is root form. It's okay. I will have a model plus head plus past participle of the main model I also often use. This train may have got delayed. This is the got be delayed. Huh? That is also root form of verb. So These are all the points this model verb is used. Now let's start permission. Just like in permission, we, we use model verb. Just like may, can, could. Just like suppose your student says, "May I come in, sir?" This is the permission to the teacher. Or can I sit for you? Suppose that is one of the asking, asking for permission. Yeah. Here in the sentence given. Which can I borrow your bicycle for a while? This is the asking. And Mona says, "So you can use it as long as you like." This is the allow or permission. So may, can, could, these are modal verbs used in permissions. Suppose a person is permission, asking permission, asking and giving permission only can and may use, but could is not used. Yeah. Could is not used. Just like, uh, can I use your telephones? Uh, he say, of course you can. Yeah. May I come in, sir? Of course you may or you can. Yeah. Could I say something is Mr. Sensei? Of course you may. So in this sentence we saw that only can and may be used in giving permission, but not could is not used. It's okay. Now, talking about permissions. If certain 
things are permitted or not permitted by law, we use can or cannot. You can cross the road only at a, at a jungle crossing. Or you cannot smoke in a cinema hall. Yeah? So here we notice that talking about permission, yeah, here we can say that according to by law also. So be allowed to or can also be used in this way. We are not allowed to walk across the lawn. Yeah? So we will discuss all this one about the very words you understood. Also asking permission, then second number giving permission and third number we discuss talking about permission. I think that you all understand what I explain it. Yeah. Yes, sir. So we model her using the possibility. Just like may, might, could, these are the model verbs can be used for possibility. It's okay. Just like present and future possibility, that is us, us or mine, we use may, might, or could to talk about present or future possibility. Just like there is someone on the door, it may be just me. Yeah, one of the other example, there is someone at the door, it may be, yeah, just me, maybe I have to discuss. And what are you doing tomorrow? We are not sure. We might go for an evening show. Might go for an evening show. This is a future possibility. Okay? May suggest a group possibility. Might suggest a quick possibility. May is a quick possibility. Might be less possibility or very good possibility. Suppose if I say may is more possibility. And might I if I use this less possibility. It's clear. So sign of point may not or might not is used, but could not is not used in some sentences. Yes. Just like Mr. Yadav was not well last evening. Yeah. Mr. Yadav was not well the last evening. He may be, he may not be coming to school today. Yeah. Why I not Mr. Yadav turn off for the meeting? He might not be interesting in interested, might not be interested, interested, might not be or may not be used, but could not is not used in possibility. Yeah? It's clear that he might not be interested. Yeah, in possibility you use may not or might not. That possibility in the past tense. Let's see, that's like may, might, to, plus have plus past participle. Which may, might, to, have plus past participle, form of the verb. To suggest a past possibility, just like today, Mohan passed by me without even saying hello. He might not have seen you. Yeah? Today, Mohan passed by me. Without even saying no, he might not have seen it. So here I use in past tense. No one may use part of the year, but he is not using the year. So it is speaking about the past possibility. It's clear. That's why I put the word. Might also use for not may. In second number point, you can see. Just like by mistake, I park my car in, in the no parking zone. Yeah. Uh, the police could have towel. Could have towel. Could have towel. Yes, yeah. Could have towel. This past participle also used here. Or some white ladies could have attacked you. Yeah. Could have attacked you. Could have. Okay. This past 
or conclusions. Just like must, have to, have got to. These are the modal verbs used in necessity and completion. Just like uh, I must work or I have to work. You can see two, two, two sentences. I must work hard to improve my performance or I have to work to improve my performance. You can see either must or I have to in necessity. Let's see. So here we can see a slight difference between must and have to. Let's see slight difference between must and have to. You can see you must be in your seat. By six, six. Yeah, which means uh, that insisting that you must be in your seat by six. Very I insist. But you have to be in your seat by six means that you practice. You must and have to be there. Something different. You must be in your seat by six. I insist. You go all the time. You have to be in your seat by six. Means that is your practice that you have to come to that place regularly. So these are all the necessity and compulsion. Must have to how to do it. You have to know the rules. So student, uh, next point is had to. Let's see in this point. You have to see that must is used in present and future tense. Yes. Uh, but must is not used in past tense. So, as must is not used in past tense, so in place of must, in past tense, you have to. Just like I have to skip that last in home. Yeah, because must is not used in past tense, that's why must is a happy use in place of must. It's clear. Uh, next point using have to. Uh, questions are normally formed with do or did. Just like you are making have to or has to or have to. Have to make. Uh, just you are know, you do. When do you have to? The question of do or did is used. Or why did you have, have to do this? Okay, you can use do or did form when you are using a question in have to model verb. It's clear. Now, last point. Have got to or have got to. Let's see. Have to and have got to mean the same. Have to or have got to. Or have to or have got to both are same. Okay? But have got to and have got to are more informal. So if I say I have to. For your means formally and not. Yeah? Formal. Very official. Or very uh, systematic. But uh, if I say I have got to her young place, in the general we are talking. I have got to, uh, both are the same type, but it is for it is formal and it is not formal in this way. Uh, use of had to model work. I discuss and I hope that whatever I discuss you might have understood. Okay, student.